Okay, so um, we'll do a recording here for this week, which is week 14. My sound might be horrible since I don't have my headset here, but let's go through it. So TC2004 analysis modeling of software systems. Jump through. We'll go to the course page on Canvas. And I've updated for this week, which uh, is starting today. So again, don't panic about those deadlines. You've got the rest of the semester up to and including May 8th. Remember, I cannot accept assignments after May 8th uh, academic regulations. And I want you to focus on exams when it's exam weeks. So Tuesday will be a video presentation discussion about what you've learned on object-oriented programming. You'll also have your quiz today uh, or on that day on chapter 10, uh, which is the last proper chapter of the book. There's some appendices that you might want to check out as well. Um, I will upload the video as well for, for anyone who doesn't uh, make it to class, so you can check that out. Friday is open class, ask us anything format, and uh, let's wrap up the semester over the next couple weeks. Um, you should schedule your pending visits. So there's meeting one, two, and three. They're all linked there for easy access. Remember to record that you met me um, and remember to schedule it. There's a link to the scheduling system down here. Um, the three visits is, is mandatory in quotes, although if you really feel you don't want to or you don't need to see me, um, I'd suggest it doesn't need to be about the course. It can be about anything, some guidance about what you're thinking about your degree program. Um, I, I spend most of my time talking to students that are not technically taking courses with me in a semester. Um, so feel free to use that anytime. You can contact me via Twitter, Facebook, email, or use that scheduling system and make an appointment. Um, uh, my office is open and, and it's a very important part of my, of my role here. The teaching evaluation is also open tomorrow. Um, it's available to last day of classes. Uh, make sure you do that. It's really, really important for us as teachers to get feedback of what you think about our course format, the way things are graded, the book, and anything you want to talk about, that's fine. Um, remember to, to think about it seriously when you're answering all those questions, filling out the, um, the comments are very important. Those are the first things I'll read. This is anonymous. We don't receive this information until after our grades are posted, so you can feel comfortable there. <laughs> And um, let's see what else about evaluations. Mm, um, there might be things that you want to just talk to me directly about. And that's why I made an assignment called course evaluations where I ask you to come and give evidence. It could be a little screenshot showing that you finished the evaluations of teachers, whatever works for you, or, or, or tell me that you really don't think you should do it. That's your, it's your choice. We can't force you. Um, but also if you could give me something directly for me, whether it's a publicly posted blog, uh, blog post or just fill in some text there or uh, an, something you want to write and submit directly to me, you can do that via the course evaluation link, which is an assignment with a point in the uh, personal area of the grading. Uh, next week is going to be the same format and so pretty similar to what we're doing now. And so I'll wrap up this video and I'll see you tomorrow in class.